Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another transfer stories. A few players look like they could be on the move this summer. I've got to talk about, I think yeah, it's four players overall, so guys, let's get straight down to it. Guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, Gabriel, my, uh, I can't pronounce his last name, I do apologise, I can't even try to pronounce it. He's got interest from Everton and, and uh, Manchester United. Now the links I have been reading, he is really strong with United at this present time. But that does not mean he cannot go to Everton. But what, Gab Gabriel's 22 years old as well, so really is still a young player, finding his feet in his career. He's in the contract is the 30th of June 2023, so he's got less than, oh no, just over two years. His main position, and he's only one position, is centre back. So, is he going to go in for the likes of Rocco from Man United, who I'm not sure whether he's left United or, you know, going to leave United, or is he going to go in to the Everton centre back spaces where he can, you know, go with the likes of Michael King? And this one. I think it's going to be quite interesting. As I said, he's been strongly linked with United at this present time. But it does not mean he can enough for Everton. This one, he definitely doesn't like to be on the move. But where would he go? Merseyside or Manchester? Put it down in the comments below what you guys think. And he's also got a plan time for 2,987 minutes. So literally he's got a lot of plan time this season as well. Wilfred Zaha. Now Wilfred for the last three to four windows, I think it might be three, has been saying that he wants to leave Crystal Palace. And whatever reason, Crystal Palace have kept him. But yet again, this window's coming out and he has stated he wants to leave Palace. And, you know, half the, I think his Palace manager said we are happy for him to leave, but only for the right price. They have priced him, I think it's around about £40 million. £40 million pounds for a winger who's 27 years old. I don't think he's going to get that, but I think he might go for around about 35, 33 million. But he's been strong in it with Arsenal again this summer. Desperate, desperately wants to leave Crystal Palace for whatever reason that is. But as I said, he's strong linked with Arsenal again. He's a white winger, he's got other positions as well, left or centre forward. So. I don't know who's been down on the left for us this season. I think Aubameyang's been out, been out there. Centre forward, like I said. But he has been strongly linked with Arsenal again this window. Philip Coutinho. Now I've done a who's just signed for your club. Does it like he will be going to Arsenal on a line this time round? That does not mean that he will, there will be a thing on the contract, I don't know what contract is, I don't know what his contract is obviously, but it could be a loan to buy, so they loan him now for a season and then they could buy him at the end. But, you know, Philip Coutinho does look like he will be on his way to Arsenal sometime this window. Now this one, I have covered before in transfer stories, Maitland Niles. Now, Maitland Niles has been linked with Brighton. Obviously, my home club, obviously, a club I support. But Maitland Niles has been linked with Brighton, as I've just said. Maitland Niles, to actually come to Brighton, yes, that'd be a brilliant signing for Arsenal. But can I actually see it happening? Well, he's in the contract is the 30th of June 2023, so literally, yeah, got more than two years left on his contract. His main position is a right back. Now this is why I question it more than what I did when I did my last video. It's because we've signed Joel Vertonghen on a three year contract. Sorry for mispronouncing that anyway. But we've been linked with Maiden Niles. Yet again his other positions are a right midfielder and a centre midfielder. So, you know, with the lights of, I think we could be slightly short on the right. But, and he can play in the centre. Now does this mean another partner for the Lana who we also signed on the free contract in this window not too long ago? He's got a playing time of 1,986 minutes as well. So, you know, Maitland Niles, do I think 
be on his way to Brighton. I don't think he will. I know we've been strongly linked with Maitland. I would love to see him in a Brighton shirt, obviously. But I can't see it. I think Philip Coutinho will go to Arsenal on the line. I think Wolf Fessenhoe will also leave uh, Crystal Palace. I'm not sure whether it will be Arsenal. And Gabriel, I do think he will be coming to the UK. But I'm not sure whether it will be United. I think it might be Everton, the blue side of Manchester United. But he could be much more help with the likes of Everton than we do United. Or does that mean Phil Jones is coming out of United as well? Put it all down in the comments below, but I'm going to bring this video to an end, guys. You know what to do, so I'm big for fun to enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.